everyone, and welcome to another edition of Inspire. We are so thrilled to be down under today with our new royal, Jeanette Coles. Hello, Jeanette. Hello, Amy. How are you? I'm lovely now that you are here with me. I'm so glad we were able to connect and have this time together. So you have been with us for just a little over a year. You're a newly promoted royal and... Before September of 2022, you hadn't really ever heard of Senegens before. How did you find us? Uh, well, Chantal Patu, the beautiful goddess, she kept popping into my Facebook feeds and she would apply makeup, this makeup that was long lasting, had skincare in it, you know, the lipstick didn't smudge. And yeah, I, at that stage, I was on the search for a long lasting lippy, so which is hard to come by. Yeah, and I guess the rest is history. So you joined in September. You you know, when we before recording, we were discussing how you, it was a free sign up month. You had nothing to lose and you were just going to sign up to have a little product to yourself, personal shopper, if you will. What changed once you started using our product? Uh, well, it very quickly changed. I think, like I said, in the first couple of weeks, I put in about five orders because I started using the samples and I just love the products. And I just thought everybody needs these products in their lives. Like, yeah, they truly are awesome products. The change in my skin is absolutely next level. Like I've always used like high-end skincare, but this just elevated my skin. My skin has never... I've got the best skin I've ever had, I think. Yeah, I can honestly say that. That's amazing. And you also earned all of your fast starts. So in your first 90 days, how do you go about sharing the products? What's your favorite way to share Senegens? Uh, I love in person. Uh, I do markets every weekend, uh, the local markets, which helps me get out there. I also love doing parties. So I try and set myself a goal of doing a minimum of three in-person parties a month on top of my markets. I do work around work Monday to Friday, but that's in-person is where it's at. I love sharing the products because when you talk about something you love, the enthusiasm is infectious and, yeah, so, and the products sell themselves. Once people get them on their face, they're generally hooked right from the word go. So you've never done anything like this before. How did you, you know, tell us about like your first couple of parties? Were you nervous? Were you fully confident? How did they go for you? What did it look like? Oh, uh, fully nervous. I'm still nervous now. Like, I, uh, you wouldn't I, guess I it. <laughs> when I talk in front of people, I, I generally talk really fast and uh, do get, I do get nervous. But my first one, I did run a launch party at, online and in person sort of at the same time and I most a majority of the attendees were friends or family members which did make it a bit easier mm -hmm. sort of trying to talk about the products but if you stick to the book um, and read through the book you're fairly well self-guided you can go off on your little tangents when certain products really really excite you but if you stick to your the book it's all there for you you know to be able to share with people and be confident in what you're saying I think and it was just like I said I'm still not confident when I talk in front of people you know I get extremely nervous but um yeah it's just I'd say it's the love of the product so which does make it easier to talk about yeah I think you shared two great things there one you did a launch party in person and online with friends and family which makes things easier um, and two, you already love the product. So when you're passionate about something, sharing it uh, is mm -hmm. pretty easy to do. And using the beauty book as a guide for the specifics uh, was really helpful for you. So I think that's those are great tips for somebody that's maybe never done an in-person launch before. Or maybe you just you, you haven't shared in a while and it, you might want to invite people into your home. I think that, you know. It's a it's cut it's great pack practice to open your home every year or twice a year and and share products with your customer base and invite them over. I love that. And it sounds like you love the samples and you share the samples. Can you talk about how that helps you in your business using samples? Well, you know, 
with our product, our product is a high-end product and as it should be because it's a good product, but people want to be able to try a product before they buy. Um, you know, you're making an investment in skincare. You want to know that these products are going to work. So I think, you know, samples really sell. And they give people the ability, like one of your little skincare samples, a three-pack, that will do a couple of days of skincare because, it, A, it lets people know that you don't need mountains of the product. You need a small pea-sized amount and it does the same job as if you're pouring a 20 cent piece amount into your hand, but they they get to feel the products. And I think feeling the products is really important. And, you know, with samples and testers, like I always suggest people trying on the different colours of the lip sense because what it looks like on me is going to look completely different to what it looks like on you. And, you know, you might be a warm skin tone person, but you wear a cool colour you know I don't get with lipsticks I don't get caught up too much on warm and cool tones because I'm a warm tone person and I've got blue red on so and you know I think blue red looks amazing on everybody I've never seen somebody that it doesn't look good on but I really think that people should yeah try the products and have the ability to fill them in their own home and you know then you can go back to them a couple of days later it gives you the opportunity to connect with them a couple of days later to follow up with them to see how they liked about the product, you know, if they didn't like anything about it, you know, what, whether you could help them with any other concerns. So it gives you that further connection to follow up with people as well. Yeah, great advice. The follow-up is super important with that. And um, you're also working right now, to, you have two big goals. So you had a big goal you accomplished by uh, promoting to Royal, congratulations. And you're now working up towards um, through the end of the seminar year, working on your Senna Blends MUA and Inner Circle. What are you doing every week to make sure that you hit those goals for yourself? Just setting the amount of PB. The, with the Senna Blends MUA, I have nearly completed that. I've only got um, two more faces to complete and that goal has, will actually be achieved but with my inner circle I am aiming for the the PB and so I need to set work out how much PB that I need to achieve each month and then I break that down into roughly you know what an average party or what my average market sales are to work out to push myself to work out what I need to achieve that. Beautiful and can you share what has been your highest uh, party sales? You love being in person. What and it is great. We we tend to sell more in person, not only because the people are trying the products, but they have their friends there and their friends are telling them, Oh, that color looks great on you. I like the smaller groups because if you get, you know, a large group of ten people and they're sitting together, if they're having a couple of drinks, it can be like herding cats trying to bring them back into the topic and where we're at. So I do like to keep the group smaller if I can. So it yeah, can be well, more personal. And it sounds like with five or six people, your average sales are about between two to 250, which is what we say for in-person. So that's fantastic. That's amazing. Congratulations there. And if you had any advice for somebody listening right now that is feeling maybe a little unconfident, a little insecure, about you know their business or you know talking to people what is one word of advice that you would give them oh one word or a phrase or you know a few sentences <laughs> um oh that would probably be better just be consistent be present and be yourself um and don't ever give up like you know, reach out if you're struggling, reach out to your fellow fellow SETI sisters because they are an amazing group of women and they are always there to, you know, give you some advice, help you out wherever they can. But, yeah, definitely be consistent and be present and just be yourself. Like, it doesn't happen overnight. Like, you know, my custom, my base has taken a while to slowly build. And when I first started at the markets, I think my first markets, I sold one lips kit and that was my only sale. And I've sold less than that at the markets. But every week I still go back there and the people, they remember because I'm there all the time. I'm reliable. I'm not a fly by nighter. So, yeah, just be consistent and reach out to even if it's one person a week to give samples to, 
just one new person to talk to, that's a small goal that's achievable. So, yeah. Great advice. Thank you so much for joining us today, Jeanette, and continued success to you in your Cinegen's journey. Thank you so much for having me. It's been awesome. Off this day. <laughs> Thank you.